Hey guys, welcome back to my 8 Blender tips that I've learned over the years. Enjoy! The first tip is 3D origin. When you import something and try to rotate it, it rotates weirdly because the origin is in the wrong place. All you have to do to fix this is go to object, set origin, and then click origin to geometry. Now you can rotate it normally. The second one is for rigs that have no head attachments for accessories such as the woman rig. Go when you rotate the head, the accessories do not follow. Instead of estimating this is what I do. Select all of the accessories and then select the head last. Do Ctrl plus P on your keyboard and select parent. Now when you rotate the head, the accessories rotate as well. This third tip is something that I use every time I open Blender and that's walk navigation. To get this, just click view, hover over navigation, right click walk navigation, click assign shortcut, and then type whatever shortcut you want. I use shift plus F. Now whenever you type your shortcut you can navigate easily. Our fourth tip is appending which lets you transfer items from one blend scene to another. Open the blend scene you want imported and make sure all the items you want are in a collection. Make sure to save the scene. Next open the scene you want to be merged, go to file, and append. Locate the blend scene and click twice, double click collections, select the collection you made and then click append. Now you have all the objects you want. The fifth tip allows you to apply a material onto many different objects. First, select any object you want the material on and import the material. Next, deselect that object and select all the objects you want the material on. Lastly, select the object with the existing material and press Ctrl plus L. Now you have all the objects connected to one material. The sixth tip is an add-on called Node Wrangler. The add-on does many things but I mostly use it for scaling textures plus bump plus anything else at the same time. Go to Edit, Preferences, go to the Add-on tab, and then type Node Wrangler. Click the check mark and close out of the window. Next, open your shading workplace and click your texture. Then do Ctrl plus T on your keyboard and it should bring up two nodes. Go to scale and mess around with it until it looks good. Now connect the mapping vector into the bump vector and viola. The seventh tip is a very accurate way to rotate your characters. Let's say I want my character to face directly left, instead of guessing I will select the rotate tool, select my character, select whichever coordinate I want to rotate it on, and then type in the desired degrees I want to rotate it, in this case it would be negative 90. Our last and eighth tip is for denoising your renders. Go to the second tab which is Render Properties and under Sampling and under Denoising click Render. You can also select Adaptive Sampling if you would like. Then go to the fourth tab which is Layer Properties and under Passes and under Data click Denoising Data. Now go to the Compositing tab on the top and click Use Nodes. Do Ctrl plus A and search Denoise Connect the dots sim connecting here and then Render. Here's an example of what it does. And that's going to conclude today's video. If you enjoyed please like and subscribe to show your support. Also if you learned a thing or two share this with your friends so they can know too. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.